unleash my torment upon them. Up on the surface, in the sun. Dig a path for me to be free. Mom, I'm home. this homework, oh wise one. Hey, you miss me, Thor? Yeah! Whoa, package delivery. Hmm, probably something of mom's. Uh, just leave it, please! Wow, this ain't for mom. It's for me? Huh, wonder who could have sent it. Cool. Looks Egyptian. Ah, that's it. Okay, okay. Uh, that's an in which, and that's a nit, which means strong or mighty. You have been chosen to be the cap bearer? Go to the mini mart and wait for a sign, Mighty Max. <gasps> Mighty Max? I'm dreaming. They made this one in Taiwan. Hmm, I guess I blew a fuse or something. So, you think I'm dumb enough to go to that mini mart? Boy, I hope this is some kind of joke. Well, at least I'll pick up an El Supremo comic if nothing else. What did the. Not the cupcakes! Big Ed? Back! Back! Taste my Louisville slugger, sucker! Get out of here, Max! Max! Wow! you is I don't believe it second floor wow
At last, the mighty one. Ah, I see you received my package as prophesied 5,000 years ago. Do help him up, Norman. After all, you are the guardian of the mighty one. Hey! Yeah! Don't mess with me, buddy. Uh, I know the ancient deadly art of, um, uh, voodoo. Yeah, yeah, and I can rip your eyes out and show them to you before you die. Right then, just follow us to the portal, Mighty Max. It must be around here somewhere. Ah, glad that's settled. I'd hate to hurt either of you two guys. So, where are we? Mongolia. Mongolia? Hey, what are you talking about, man? How'd I get here? Ah, oh, here it is. Hey! Wait for me! Okay, now what's this all about? And how can you look like a... a chicken? My name is Virgil, and I'm a fowl, not a chicken. <clears throat> you are Mighty Max, the Chosen One. Chosen One? Oh, well, what I win? Cash? Prizes? Video games? <laughs> Where's that McMahon? All will be explained, but we must hurry. Just step forward into the portal. Look! I just see rock, and if you think... What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> All right. If you don't come clean with what just happened, man, I am gone. Well, if you insist. But I've only had five eons to practice this speech. Here goes. <clears throat> Every person has a gift, and in their gift lies their destiny. You, Mighty Max, are a hero and you have been chosen to wear the last cosmic cap to victory. As such, you, the wearer of the cap, have access to the long-lost transport of the gods. Hey! Hey, it's glowing! <laughs> sort of a super subway system, as it were. Come along. You are the focus of the powers of good. Norman and I are here to aid and serve you. Oh, I don't feel so bad, big guy. There'll be other heads to chop, I'm sure. I am very wise and shall instruct you in the ways of being a hero. My speciality. Great. A chicken teaching me to be brave. Norman is your guardian, the ultimate bodyguard, as it were. He's quite unstoppable. He shall protect you from the smaller inconveniences that crop up from time to time. Where is that portal? Basically, you're it. Mighty Max. Yeah, but this mighty stuff, it sounds wussy. Mighty is a title of courtesy, like Mr. or King. Hey, this is my block! I'm back home! You are mighty, understand? Yeah, if you say so, just don't call me that, okay? Yes, Mighty Max. And another thing, what was the flaming pyro thingy waiting for me at the mini-mart? A lava beast, and at the ordained mini-mart. Skullmaster knows of you. Then he must almost be free if he has sent his minions. Is there something you're not telling me? Look, I think I should know whether this house has a basement or not, okay? I mean, I've only lived here all my life. No, no, it says so in the scroll. I'm sure there's a basement around here. I guess there is one. Whoa! You mean this was down here all the time? Cool! Stop! Look at your cap! This is the gateway to Skull Mountain. In my basement? What better place? 
You are the chosen one. Oh, great, Verge. So Skullmaster's on the other side of that? And he's probably got a million zillion lava beasts with him, huh? Come on, a guy'd have to be a complete moron to go through there, then. I'm not going, no matter what. Wow! <laughs> I guess a chosen one's gotta do what a chosen one's gotta do. Well, here's to saving the world, and Mom, and my friends, and Virgil. Uh, no chance we had the wrong address, huh? See you. No, no, don't tell me. Let me guess. Skullmaster, right? You're the chosen one. Prophesied to destroy me. <laughs> You're a worm. <laughs> An insect. <laughs> I'm nothing. Hey, don't get me steamed, bonehead, or I'll gnaw your ankles off. Gee, hope I sounded tough enough. Five thousand years of anger and fear. And now I find you are not at all. Great! Then we can be friends? Shake? Whoa, whoa, whoa. One second, thought. Uh, wait! I think I hear my mom calling me. You know, I'd really love to stay in chat, but she's a real monster if I'm not home by dinner, so... <laughs> More than me. <gasps> Time to die, chosen one. The crystal! Well, well, well. One more step, big fella, and this puppy takes a fall. Come prende. Don't touch the crystal! Huh? You were saying? No! <laughs> Do you think you can run away from me? Virgil! to Skullmaster. Yeah, look, Virgil, before we do anything rash... So... The Chosen One! Uh-oh. I think we're in deep dish pizza now. Kill! 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 Hey, Virgil, can chickens fly? What was that? Hey, Norman! Catch! This is gonna be fun. Was fun. Oh man, that was great! <clears throat> Would someone mind terribly? Thank you. Mighty Max says, find us the portal out of here fast or kiss your kebabs goodbye. Oh, 
those things? Well, looks like someone's rototiller got a little out of hand, huh? The portal should be just up ahead, maybe another 30 feet. Birch! The portal's 30 feet out there in midair? Over that? Oh, man, someone told me there's another way out. There is. Skullmaster! Have no fear, you are destined to win. Um, good to see you again, Mr. Skullmaster. <laughs> Scully, so, how are you doing? You can't escape. I'll rip your limbs from your body and slowly suck the marrow from your bones. That's it, we're husbands. But I'm taking that sucker with me. Destroying my tunnels! Open wide and say, ah! ah! Woo! Yes! Ah, don't mess with Mighty Man, Chapley Bozo! What are you doing? The mighty one! I hope you're right about that portal being out there, Virgil. The map has never been wrong in 5,000 years, and... What? No. You don't mean... What, like we have a chance here? Am I Mighty Max or aren't I? One? You will die, chosen one. You will die! Australia, I think. Should be a portal to Madagascar, only 50 miles or so from here. 50 miles? No way, Jose! Hey, I'm the mighty one, you remember? I just saved the world from certain destruction. I ain't moving. Find a closer portal. There aren't any. Tough. I'm not going. Um, Virgil? Norman? Hey, you guys, I was just kidding around. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> so normal, buddy, a big hunk of nothing. How about a piggyback ride, huh? After all, I am Mighty Max. <laughs> oh, please. Well, this week, we went to Mongolia and Egypt and then to India, where we saw the Taj Mahal. In 1630, Shah Jahan started building it as a shrine for his wife. It took 20,000 men 22 years to complete. <laughs> you know, I think it'd take just about that long to clean my room. See you next week. I should have read the chapter on programming first, huh? <laughs> or maybe at least the introduction. If you had, you would have known that you do not format a hard drive with a ball-paid hammer. 
Looks like you blew out the VTR and Scuzzy with a little extra juice in the gooey, Maxi Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice, Ernie. Oh, no problem, Maxi Waxy. That's what study partners are for. So, you ready to get started on our next mind-blowing challenge in the wonderful world of computers? Ha, ha, ha. I was thinking, perhaps we could write a program that both answers the telephone and does statistical correlation between raindrops and fractal design. Or, if you like, we could design an optical read-write drive that stores over 200 gigabytes and is smaller than a pack of cards. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, we might roll up our sleeves and dive right into some artificial neural nets. <laughs> I get goosebumps. Why are we in here? Look, Ernie. Ernie, I know we were assigned to study partners, okay, but uh, it's just not working out. I don't feel bad, Maxie Waxy. Everybody blows up the computer now and then. <laughs> and they call me Adolphus. <laughs> uh, Ernie, I think from now on we should work separately. You do not want to be my partner anymore. Well, no, no, it's just that uh, you already know all this stuff, and, and I don't want to hold you back. Do you, you understand? Yeah, sure, I understand. I just thought that maybe we could be pals. Mm, I think you hurt his feelings. I didn't mean to. It's not personal. I just can't stand him. What's it say? That says Verge wants to see me right away. Guess I'll have to miss the computer lab. <laughs> what a shame. Five, two, oh, six. Bingo, here it is. Whoa! Something tells me I'm not in Kansas anymore. Actually, you are. Max, the world's in crisis. Hostile aliens have passed Mars and will land in just three hours. Thanks for the warning, Verge. So, where should we hide, hmm? Uh, I hear Jupiter is nice this time of year. Max, my boy, you are Earth's only hope. You know, I knew you were gonna say that. Come on, man, what about the Air Force or the UN or Arnold Schwarzenegger? I mean, we don't want to hog all the glory for ourselves. I'm afraid the alien ships are invisible to radar, and your military is just no match for their superior firepower. Oh, and I am? How about Normie? I have a really good feeling about him. I eat aliens for breakfast. <laughs> you see? They're even on his diet. Max, remember, you are the mighty one. Thanks a lot. I almost forgot. Only you have the ability to get to the spaceship in time to save the planet. Will you do it? Hmm. Well, I sure would hate to do my homework, only to discover the world's being destroyed anyway. Okay, okay, I'll save the world. But let's not make this a habit, okay? Good. There's no time to lose. We must leave at once. <laughs> I could do without this part. Hey, you guys, did I ever mention I get motion sickness? <laughs> Watch your first step as Lawsuit City. Coolness! All those comic books I read were right! Hear that? I hope one of us has on a paper or we could be in big trouble. Look for a light switch. That's my nose. Oops, sorry. I believe I have my bearings now. Follow me and we'll be at our goal in no time at all. Um, perhaps we turned left when we should have turned right. Duh! Whoa! Hey, Birch! How come you can't fly? I learned to read instead. Is it me, or are these aliens kind of on the weird side? This 
must be the think tank, huh? Help, help, I can't swim. Oh, oh. You can't fly, you can't swim. You okay? I may have swallowed a little water <laughs> and perhaps a brain. Hey, cool threads. Not exactly this fall's fashions, but they'll do. Well, how do I look? Like a chicken in an alien costume. Let's go. Target planet almost in range. All systems are go. Insert data containing vital steps of invasion. Now. Norman? Hmm. You just live for that sort of thing, don't you, Norm? Something tells me this is the key to stopping the aliens. You are right. If you can disrupt the aliens' computers, they cannot invade. That disc is Earth's only hope. Mankind's fate is again in your hands, mighty Max. No matter what happens, don't lose that disc. Whatever the obstacles, the danger, the enormous odds, persevere just when it seems darkest. Verge, maybe you could lighten up on the pressure just a little. Uh, it's okay, we work here. Swing shift. Hey, didn't we meet at the company picnic last year? Intruders. Way to go, Verge. If I get my brain sucked out, it'll be on your head. So, which way to the portal? I'm not sure there's one on board this ship for another, oh, 32 minutes. Great. What kind of a wise chicken are you? Didn't you think of calling ahead? Hey, wait. Why not take the bus? Ooh, nothing like hands-on training. Unhand me or you'll hear from my solicitor. 50 to 2. Or this seems fair. I'll fight with my eyes closed. Virgil! Norman! Mankind's fate, mighty one. No matter what happens, don't lose that disc. Well, one of these things gotta do something. Well, I hope someone remembered to fill the tank. Because I don't think we'll be passing a gas station for the next 50 zillion miles. At least I didn't run into any rush hour traffic. Just a few logarithmic adjustments, and I will have invented the greatest video game since the last video game I invented. <laughs> Ernie! Ernie, let me in! I need your help! Did I hear a voice? Is someone trying to talk to me? No! Who would want to talk to me? Who would need my help? Come on, Ernie! Oh, how humiliating having to suck up to a nerd. It's your old pal, Maxi Waxy! <clears throat> Real nice room you gotta earn. Cool microchip bedspread. Look, Ernie, this is an emergency! No! I was only one computation away! You erased my legacy! I'm sorry, Ernie, but the world as we know it is on the verge of being destroyed! Brain-sucking aliens with an attitude are on their way to turn Earth into a giant smorgasbord! Man, I barely escaped with a shuttlecraft that I ditched nearby! You're the only one who can help me stop them, Ern! Oh, yeah, Lord. Like, you expect me to fall for that old one? <laughs> Traveling at the speed of light, it will take 4.3 years to reach the Earth from the nearest star. That is a long trip just for dinner and no show. Uh, uh, hop, hop, Ernie, you caught me. I was fooling, but I couldn't trick you, you smarty pants. 
Actually, I just got a great new computer game that's about an alien invasion. And I thought... New game about alien invasions? Get it, get it! Funny, I never even heard of this one. It's pretty cool, huh? So what do you think? Well, I've never seen anything like it. It doesn't even seem to be a game. Where did you say you got this? Big Rouse! Hey, if you are hungry, there is something in the fridge. There really isn't any game, is there? This is one of those real aliens, right? No, it's my grandma. Run for it! Wait, my mom always told me to check on it. Just come on! when you do not look both ways. Okay, look, Ernie. The Earth and my friends are in trouble. I need your help, man. Why should I help? You wouldn't even be my study partner just because the other kids think I am a nerd. I almost having my brain sucked out. Gives me an appetite. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. And maybe if I had to do it all over again, I'd take you as my partner. But we don't have time right now. Okay. I will help, just so long as you take me with you. Oh, no, 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 you wouldn't like it, Ern. It's a long flight, and the food stinks, and nothing but brains. But I am your partner! Look, I'm tired of being a nerd. I, I want to do something important. Besides, you have no choice. You cannot save the world without me. <sighs> okay. Okay, you can go. Man, I never realized saving the Earth would come at such a high price. The aliens won't know what hit them. I reprogrammed the disc on my laptop. All they have got to do is pop it into their computer and in 15 minutes, car boom! You sure it'll work? Does a motor running at 57,600 bits per second need hardware compression? <laughs> The Big Bang Theory becomes reality thanks to yours, truly. Boy, genius! <laughs> yeah, good job. Now, let's go look for Virgil and Norman. You know, I really outdid myself this time. How, you ask, did I do it? Let me explain. Later, someone or thing is coming. You know, they made a planet after me, or a solar system, or maybe a whole galaxy. The galaxy, Ernie! Has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? If we don't get out of here, they'll be naming an entree after you. Have you ever considered a vow of silence? <sighs> I wonder why they put us somewhere so cold. Perhaps our alien hosts don't wish us to spoil. Well, hey, <laughs> the joke's on them. In 12 minutes, we'll all be blown to smithereens. <sighs> Nothing ever goes right in my life. First, no one likes me because I am smart. And now I am about to wind up as space debris. A guy just cannot win. People don't dislike you because you're smart. They dislike you because you're obnoxious. All you do is talk, talk, talk. I only talk a lot because I want to make friends. So, have you made any friends? Well... No! Then get a clue! If you want me to be quiet, just say so I can take a hint. I am not one of those people who just talks on endlessly, boring everyone, rambling on and on and on, listening to nothing but their own voice constantly. Shut up! Ten minutes left before the final curtain. I can't see how things could get any worse. I dream I'd go like this, only I was wearing a dress. 
Perhaps it's not as painful as it appears. I welcome pain. Yeah, pain is Norman's middle name. If I had just a little time, I could program a subroutine to override the system and terminate the primary command sequence. But since I do not. Cool. That was pretty quick thinking, Ern. Hey, I may be a nerd, but I am not a dweeb. We must hurry, mighty one. The ship will pass another portal in minutes. It's the only way back. A shortcut. Oh, I don't believe it. It's locked. Doesn't anyone trust anyone anymore? I've got an idea. I wanted to do that since I got here. This is the spot. So where's the portal, Verge? And how come the cap didn't light up? Oh my, the disk must have altered the spacecraft's coordinates. The portal's outside the ship. We're almost out of time. We'll have to use the spaceship to get back to the portal. I wonder what the penalty is for Grand Theft Mothership. It looks just like in the video arcades. Ernie, take over the lasers. I bet you're a natural. No, I do not think it is quite the same. I'm sure the aliens train on more sophisticated video games. But I know you can do it, dude. You're not a nerd. I'm not sure. Most of the evidence seems to indicate otherwise. Okay, you want to be a hero? Well, here's your chance, partner. Looks like we'll have to try flying the mothership through the portal. Hey, Virgil, can a ship this size make it through? I believe we're about to find out in three seconds. For a computer nerd, you're okay. And I'm happy to be your friend. Put her there, partner. We do make a pretty good team, do we not? <laughs> Thanks, Max. I cannot wait until I tell everyone about our trip! Uh, I don't think that's really a good idea. You remember about keeping your mouth shut? Those guys are canon. Hey, everybody! You will not believe what happened! I was in outer space! I saved the universe from brain sucking alien! Cannibals? Well, I tried. Okay, come on, let's go save him. He may be a so so dweeb, but everyone seems to want him over for dinner. This week, we made quick work of those pesky brain-sucking aliens. And to do that, we had to go deep into space. Hey, I bet you didn't know that space-time is actually curved and that scientists are moving toward a theory that unifies quantum mechanics and general relativity in a quantum theory of gravitation. <laughs> Tune in next week and I'll tell you what that means. See you then.
very, very simple. As you wander through the museum, I want you to answer the questions on the study sheet. Remember, you'll be working in pairs, exploring the past and probing the very entrails of history. Hey, Max, where are you going? Me? I'm aiming to do my probing with Jiffy. Jiffy? But I thought we were... Oh, fine. Don't worry, B. Jiffy's just another of Max's infatuations. He'll get over it as soon as she dumps him. Hey, Jiffy! Oh, wow. I've never been so all up close and personal with real life history before. How edifying. Yeah, it's, it, it is ed it, Yeah. You like history? Because I'm an expert. Whoa, would you look at that? Yeah, just an ordinary Egyptian cereal bowl, right? Oh, no. Actually, it's way more than that. It, it's really, um, sort of a, oh. <laughs> Drinking fountain. <laughs> Max, you're such a fooler. Okay, class, time to pair up. <sighs> Always the fooler, never the fool. What am I saying? Howard, you go with Jane. Jimmy, Janice. Uh, Betty, Otis. Excuse me, pardon me, move it, watch your toes. Incoming, watch it. Joy, Heraclitus. Jiffy, um, Felix. Felix? And B, Max. Max? Hey, hey, Felix, old good buddy, old pal. What do you say we do a little swapping, huh? Come on, Felix. We've got lots of studying to do. Do you like taking notes? I do. Felix, come back! Felix! Oh, man, this really bites big time. Like I'm second prize here? Come on, Maxie. We've got lots of studying to do. Ah, poor Jiffy. Alone. With Felix. Same thing, really. Max, look at this. Egyptian hieroglyphics used objects to represent words and sounds. Yeah, 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 I know. I got a book on it back home. I wonder what Jiffy's name would look like, huh? A flower? A butterfly? No, no, a goddess! The symbols for your name, Maxwell, must be the same as Chump. Look, there goes Jiffy. You say Jiffy one more time and I'll break your jaw. We oh, excuse me. Maybe we're just a little bit jealous, is that it? <laughs> jealous of Jiffy? Over you? Keep dreaming, boy. Not if you were the last guy on Earth, or the galaxy, or the universe, or the cosmos. Oh, Jiffy! I love word problems, don't you? Or even beyond that, in other dimensions... Yeah, 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 whatever. Quick, climb in here, we'll surprise her. Huh? Max, you're back! Sarcophagus. Where are we, B? Max, you and your stupid cap! Hey, come on, I just wear it. I don't make it work. Well, I guess the best thing to do is look for the nearest portal. Yeah, but that could lead to anywhere. We have got to get back to the museum. I mean, what if Felix tells Jiffy something really embarrassing about me? Wait a second, these look like they are hieroglyphics, just like the museums. Max, we must be in Egypt. <laughs> You know, that's just like a girl. You get all riled up about nothing and send me into a panic. I'll tell you, you wouldn't catch Jiffy doing that. You know why? Because she is all woman. She... And you are all brain dead. It's just a skeleton. I know that. Some of my best friends are skeletons. Yo, Bones, what up? Too much fiber, bud. <laughs> to greet uninvited guests. Careful. Maybe more greetings. Whoa! What a setup! Check it out! I mean, all it's missing is a widescreen TV. Hey, what is that? Cool. I mean, hot. Anyhow, it's beautiful. Hmm. No price tag. I wonder where this leads. Huh? One way to find out. Maybe I can't bring Jiffy to Egypt, but I can sure bring a piece of Egypt to Jiffy. What's going on? Abandoned hotel. 
cursed interlopers. Slow death awaits all who usurp the Ankh of Power. I don't like the sound of that, Max. B, look out! There's three hideous figures in black robes behind me! How'd you know? Lucky guess. I've seen the last of Jiffy. Guess I've seen the last of me, too. Oh, Jiffy should be so lucky. Hey, what's that? English? Let's see. Greetings, Mighty Max. If you are reading this, you must be in trouble. Take the portal of Paris, where you'll find further instructions. Virgil. Virgil? How did he do this? And what portal? He... What? <gasps> That's everyone. Hold it! Oh, where are Max and B? Where have you two been? Oh, never mind. Your study sheets? Well, I think mine's in Africa. A French dog ate mine. Right. Demerits for the both of you. Some museum trip. Not only do we almost get killed, but all we get for our trouble is a demerit. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Oh, baby Jiffy is gonna love me for this. And my math book. I love word problems, don't you? <clears throat> my favorite's on page 37. If Farmer Watley has seven cows, three ducks, five goats, and Max? The worst? Felix? Ah, oh, forget him, hot stuff. Look what I got for you. It's a lucky study charm! Yeah, and I got it at the, uh, uh, at the museum gift shop. Sort of, for you. It's beautiful. I don't know what to say. Oh, that's okay. You don't have to say a thing. I mean, I mean, you can if you want. I'm not saying that you can't. Obviously, you can. But if you don't want to say anything, um, I can, you know, can I say it for you? What's Jiffy got that I don't? I don't know. She's just jiffy, I guess. What do you think? Should I or shouldn't I? I mean, maybe she's waiting for me to call, right? Maybe she's calling me. Maybe she's on her way over. Jiffy? Oh, maybe she didn't like the necklace I gave her. Maybe I ought to just call her. It's hopeless. He's convinced he and Jiffy go together like potato chips and ice cream. Poor deluded Max. Only way Jiffy would go for him is if he turned into a textbook. Jiffy? Hi, it's Max. Oh, Max! I'm so glad you called. I've got a test tomorrow. Really? Need me to help you study? No. I need someone to tell all these strange people in black robes under my window to go away so I can study. Go forth on the bridge of Apophis, my loyal minions. Bring to me the Ark of Power. Jiffy's in danger. Sounds like those guys in Egypt are after her. Oh, this is great! I'll be her hero forever after I rescue her! Rescue? Max, you're letting your fixation on Jiffy cloud what little good sense you have! Remember this morning? Yeah, but that was then! But now, with a little help from my friends... That mean us? Afraid so. Would you guys go away? I'm trying to study! Ah! Whoa! What's that? Where could I get one? Looks like some sort of interspatial travel thingy. That must be how they got here so quickly from Egypt. Yeah, well, never mind that now. We got some bad guys to pedal into submission. Ha! It's working perfectly! Whoa! It always works on TV. I can't believe I'm doing this all for the sake of Jiffy. Or is it Max? Oh, that boy! Jiffy's hero for life! Help! Help! I'm being kidnapped by me! Then again, she may never forgive me. Come on, you guys! Jiffy's been...
been kidnapped! And those snake dudes are probably slobbering on her already! Be right with you after I lock up my bow. Ike! Max, this is crazy! Not to mention insane! No! All I gotta do is go through the portal in the museum, rescue Jiffy from the ugly snake headed dudes, and come back so I can be the idol of her adoring eyes! It won't be that hard! Hello there! Planning a museum visit? I sure am, and it's a matter of life and death! Well, my condolences, we just closed. Everything in here is dead already, anyhow. Yeah, look, Mac, here's a buck. A whole dollar. Now, you go buy the little woman a bauble and step aside, okay? Come on, guys! Oh! <laughs> now, here it is! Oh. We're closed! Scram! Beat it! Away with yous! Look, man, you don't understand! Something terrible's happened to the girl I love! I gotta get in! Give me a break, Max. You don't love Jiffy. You don't even know what love is. I do, too, love Jiffy. I do! And I'd do anything for her! Hold on, son. Them's mighty big words to be bantering about. What do you know about this girl? Can she cook? Is she astrologically compatible? Well, we'll never find out as long as you're in the way. What the? Oh! Come on, Max. Now's our chance. Hey, you! Halt! Halt her, I'll... I'll scream for help! Help! Gotcha. I noticed. She's still wearing the necklace I gave her. Oh, what a babe! Max, that necklace is probably what attracted them to her. Oh, looks like she's in for it. And so are we. Ah! Who are you? What do you want? Why are you dripping slime on the floor? I am Venom, Apostle of Apophis. Rightful conqueror of the world, last of the Supreme Pharaohs! Supreme Pharaohs? Isn't that a Seattle grunge band? How you doing, bud? Mighty Max is the name. This here's B. Hey, I gotta tell you, that was one sharp entrance. Max? Silence! You dare interrupt the sacred rites of renewal that kept me alive over 3,000 years! No kidding. He doesn't look a day over 2,000. Mock me, fool! But after I absorb the combined life force sucked out of your bodies by the Ankh of Power, no less than Apophis himself will honor me! Soon, I and I alone will be master of cosmic destiny! What a deal! Say, Venom, can I call you Ven? Ven, you think this Apophis dude could arrange to get me a driver's license before I'm 16? Max, if you ever expect to study with me, you better get me out of here! This whole mess is your fault! The time is now. With the first rays of moonlight, the Ankh will kindle. Can someone take this necklace off me? It's burning a hole in my new sweater! You'll suffer only a moment, my dear. Then die. A pity, but it is my immortality. Man, I gotta do something. I got... Wait. That's it! Oh, great Apophis, for this life force I am about to receive, may I serve you unto eternity. Thank you. Excuse me! Hey, cool special effects! Yo, Ven, what's the gimmick? Huh? Ah, no! You've disrupted the celestial timing! Do you realize what you've done? Spoiled your moon tan? <laughs> Come on, Jiffy! Field trip's over! Fools! After them! I must have the onk! Way to go, Max! You rescued Jiffy just like you said! Wait, what about me? I'll take care of you. <gasps> Max! Huh? B! Okay, hold it right there, you necklace reptiles! Now, Ben, what do you say we swap B for the necklace? Straight up. Max, you gave that necklace to me. Very well. I accept, provided you deliver the Ankh first. Done. I got no problem with that. Can't say the same for your guys. Catch! I must have it! I must! I... Max, better take this before Snake Boy here burns himself again! Hate to leave so early, guys, but uh, hey, we got a portal to catch. Later! Cast an escape! No matter. They won't get far. <laughs> Awfully nice of you to come back and rescue me, Max. Hey, well... Ah, oh, B, I can't believe I almost left without you. I 
feel so bad. <laughs> oh, Max, you do care about me. <clears throat> Would you two come on? I still have my spelling homework to do. Oh, great Apophis, hear my plea. I would do your bidding. Who disturbs Apophis? It is I, Venom, your servant. I beseech you, O oh Great One. Unleash the instrument of my revenge on those who would usurp the Ankh of Power. Son, reform school's what you make of it. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. I sure did. <laughs> Yahoo! We made it back to the museum! You, uh, but, but how, how did you... Uh, just don't try to figure it out, okay, buddy? Have a croissant. Lucky thing we found our study sheets, too. Maybe we can still get that demerit erased. Well, goody for you. What about my study needs? Like my test tomorrow, and my ruined book cover, and my science report. What about next week's homework? And, and, and the SATs, you know, they're coming up in only six years. Oh, man, now I got no one to study with. But, Max, you never have to study anyways. Guess I spend too much time fooling around with my friends, huh? Hey, that's what friends are mm. for. <laughs> Not bad. This week, we went to Giza, Egypt, and the Great Pyramid of Cheops. I bet you didn't know the pyramid was built nearly 5,000 years ago. It's made of over two and a half million giant stones. And if you wanted to, you could use it to build a 10-foot wall around the boundaries of France. In which case, you'd have the Great Wall of Cheops. Nest pas? <laughs> See you next week! Ugh. 
No! No! We hope you enjoy your stay in beautiful Istanbul, Turkey. Immigration would like us to remind all passengers to have their passports on hand at the gate. Knock off 50 drachmas and we'll talk. That doesn't look 8th century to me, pal. A wise decision. That's hardly even 10th century. Virgil, Norman! Hey, what up? What are you guys doing here? I had a sudden imminent feeling that you were in need of help. I know you're on vacation, but, um... Perfect timing. Virgil, you've been around. Come take a look at the ceramic vase in the shop. I can't decide. And could you hold my jadeberry oil, please, Max? We'll be right back. Okay, Mom. Oh, wee! Yeah, this'll keep the bugs from biting all right. Ha! <laughs> Turkish furniture polish. Great, Mom. Hey, big man. Come see. I have good deal for you. No thanks. I already got one. Hey! Get a load of these! Swell, made in America. I come all the way to Turkey for this? Thief! Thief! Stop that boy! They stole my hat! Police! Him! Him! He stole my hat! Uh, sorry mister, this hat's mine. Case closed. Police! Thief! Stop that American boy! <laughs> Passport. My passport? Oh, yeah, my mom has it. You guys sit tight. I'll be right back. Hey! Don't do it, Norman! Oh, great. Where did Max and Norman go? There's really no telling. Excuse me, has anyone seen a big man with a sword and a young American boy wearing a cap? They were here a moment ago. Thieves, I tell you! Both of them! Boy tried to steal cap, but police come and make boy give back to me. Then big man attack police. They have no passport and soldiers take them away. What? My son tried to steal a cap and got arrested? Where did the soldiers take them? Wait. Where is the cap now? Oh, I said it already. Sold it? Got plenty more. Only $20 US. I see it. Up there. Some kid on a bicycle's wearing it. Come on, we've got to get the Mighty One's cap back. We've got to get Max first. Who's to say that we can even get them out of that place unless we use the cap to open a portal? Norman will protect Max, but please let us make haste to find the cap while we still can. Why, without it, we might all be doomed. Uh, oh, all right, the hat first. But so help me, Virgil, if anything happens to my Max, I'll wring your chicken neck. I hope the guy wearing these got off for good behavior. Uh, 
If they hadn't taken my sword, I'd get through. Well, maybe, but that sword's police property now, Normie. Oh, I gotta tell you, I'm glad you didn't attack him with it or we'd really be in trouble. You see, major force isn't always the best way. I'm the guardian. It's what I do. Well, when you're outnumbered like that, sometimes the best thing to do is just smile and nod. I don't mind being outnumbered. Oh, no? Do you mind being locked up in a Turkish prison for the rest of your life? Norman, just listen to me from now on when I say stop, okie dokie? Okie dokie, mighty one. Wait, wait, wait! Don't I get to make my one phone call? My mom will be worried if I don't call her and let her know I'm in jail. Maybe I should just consider ordering a pizza instead, huh? <laughs> You think this is America, hey, little boy? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> uh, you can stop, Norman. I think I heard him say sorry. Excellent, Norman! You listen to me this time very good! <laughs> Don't worry, little boy. You and your big friend will not be here too much longer. You know, it's funny, but getting out of here really doesn't seem like a big threat to me. I haven't the time to stay for tea anyway, thank you. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, perhaps you can help. I'm looking for a little boy with this hat and a bicycle. Oh, no, I... <clears throat> Should really brush up on my Turkish. Teach me some Turkish, quick! The particular dialect I learned went out of fashion about the same time my beak became passé, I'm afraid. mop at home. Hey, pal! If that guy's the janitor, I'm the Dalai Lama! No escape from Torlak the torture. Oh, your young flesh will make Cyclops fine meal. <laughs> Cyclops? Cyclops cave below. You know Odysseus? Torture one of Odysseus' men left behind. Now he feeds Cyclops. Well, hold on, time out. We're losing a little something in the translation here, bud or you're taking your Greek myths a little too seriously. <laughs> Applesauce. Man, if Odysseus really slept here, you'd think they'd make it more of a tourist attraction. But that don't explain how that torturer dude got out of here. If we knew that, maybe we could blow this taco stand too. I got blisters on my knuckles from all this knocking. That's it, Virgil. We've left Max sitting in some jail all night. We're gonna get him out. Forget the hat. My son's more important. Oh, no, watch where... That's him. Stop you. Hey! Hey, not touch my bike. Young man, it's very important that I have that cap you're wearing. What will you take for it? My cap you not have. Let me go my bike. I'll buy that cap from you. Here. Now, it's a generous offer on my part. 
come back here. You're tampering with the fate of the cosmos. Excuse me, but my kingdom for a horse. Just hold on for a minute while I get right side up. Oh dear, a portal. Ah! Where on earth are we? I'm not sure. <laughs> Just a moment, please. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this is the scenic Serengeti Plain, and these charming beasts are... Killer baboons! <laughs> hey, monkey, you need to have my bike! <laughs> And I let them have the bike. Come on, he couldn't have passed through a solid wall. On this side. Maybe there's some kind of hidden door. But where? Well, if there is a door, air will leak through from the other side. Allow me. Hey, looky, looky, a map! Now, if nobody's done any remodeling of this place since this map was carved, then this main corridor will lead us straight out of here. Hey, this must be the Cyclops that nutball guard was telling us about, huh? It's times like these when I really miss that old sword of yours, Normie. I don't have anything to pick that padlock with, though. I do. Ooh, whoever lives here has got to be... Ah! Dead! Ooh, jeez! This place reeks big time. Smells like rotten Easter eggs getting a perm. No, it's worse, Norm. I think we're in the prison sewer. Please let this be an exit.
Kareem! This dude must have had a lot of trouble finding clothes in his size. Looks like he ate a rummage sale. Mom would go nuts! Cool! Hey, Norman! Look above the skull! Let's go! would have been easy. If we'd have used the latch to open the door, this would have been... Hi. Oh, what kind of self-respecting secret passageway would lead into a prison yard? Ah, oh, there you are. We look all over for you. Lady, bring your passport, so it, it's fine for you to go now. Max! Mom! Virgil! Oh, are you guys a sight for sore eyeballs? Boy, you will never guess what happened to us. Complaining about not having your sword, you didn't even use it? And why do you even bother with it, Normie? I like it. Max, what did you do with my jetterberry oil? Um, I sort of gave a guy a burning case of pink eye. <sighs> and how'd you manage to melt your sneaker? You have to be more careful, you know. That's the third pair you've ruined this month. And you look hungry. When did you eat last? Oh, quick, Virgil. Where's the nearest portal? I don't care where it goes, just get me out of here, man. <laughs> This week, we went to the ancient land of Turkey, where people have lived in cities dating as far back as 7700 BC. Archaeologists like Schliemann, Derbfeld, and Blagan have uncovered buildings built on top of other buildings, along with some of the treasures of ancient history. Right now, I'd like to uncover a cheeseburger, fries, and a soda. See you next week!
The signs are nigh, great Loki. The planets are in place in the sky. Soon the chains which bind you to the Earth's heart will be burst asunder by the dragon's rousing. Excellent Raven Dark, work the spell to wake the dragon and shatter this world that holds me captive. And Odin's curse, Dark Lord, will be lifted as well? When next you leave the dragon's mouth, you will not transform into a bird of ill omen, but retain the form of man that you now hold. Oh, to walk the earth as a man again. I will begin the spell at once, straight Loki. Fool, work your lackey's magic and let me loose again. Crack the planet that dares to chain me. Wake the dragon so that it may set me free. Pick up a few things. Okay, no biggie. Come on, a few things? Why didn't she just give me the encyclopedia and say, get me aardvark through zoophile? Blue light special in aisle nine. Kumquats in aisle 12. Cocktail weenies on sale in aisle 21. Mighty Max, please go to aisle seven, frozen foods. What? Well, I guess I'll get a rain check for this stuff. Whew. Should have brought a sweater. <gasps> Hi, Norman. Mighty One. Allow me. Thanks, Verge. Hey, hey pretty handy. <laughs> Built-in feather dusters. <clears throat> yes, quite. Okay, guys, shoot. What is new and horrible in the world today, huh? The signs are not entirely clear. All that is certain is that a cursed necromancer named Raven Dark, last of the Viking sorcerers, is about to essay a spell of catastrophic proportions, and only the mighty one... Can stop him. I know, I know, yada, yada, yada. I am beginning to see a pattern in this Mighty One business. So where does this Raven Dark dude hang out? He resides within a cavern of the Dragon of Doom. Wow, a dragon too! Cool, I should bring a camera with me on these expeditions. <laughs> and, and the cavern is a... Uh... At the top of these cliffs, Mighty Max. Uh, I could have guessed that if I'd wanted to. Uh, Burge, are you sure there's no portal to the top? My feet are killing me. Ah, the Doom Dragon. We meet again, old worm. The years have clothed you in dirt and shrubbery, great lizard. I hardly recognized you. Who's he talking to? Norman is addressing the Doom Dragon, mighty one. You shall fall as always, foul beast. The dragon in the cave? The dragon is the cave, mighty one. The whole cave? I suddenly don't feel very mighty. Norm, you know this guy? Fought him before. They even wrote a song about it. What, Puff the Magic Dragon? <laughs> Hurry, I sense the sorcerer. The spell nears completion. We must not let that happen or Earth is in peril. Boy, feels kind of creepy just strolling into a dragon's stomach. It's not something I normally do voluntarily, you understand? The hammer and helmet of Thor. I thought I'd lost these forever. Still fits. Wait a minute. You were Thor? Yes, I served Odin. As you well know, Mighty Max, the powers occasionally contract outside talent to maintain the cosmic balance. From Ginnungagat, where there is no grass. Hurry! Ginnungagat, where the fires rage. Arise now. Arise, Ori. Ginnar commands. Ravendark demands. What's he doing? Redecorating? Good heavens, he's waking the Doom Dragon. But... That will mean the end of the world. Oh, this must be stopped at once. Allow me. Stop, foul necromancer! Hey. Ah! 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 
Who dares to intrude upon me in the midst of my workings? Nobody here but us chickens! You are waking the Doom Dragon. Perceptive. You may stay and watch, in which case you will be among the first to die, or you may attempt a panicked and useless flight and postpone your end by moments. Uh, I'll have to flip a coin on that one. Burge, why do I get the feeling that waking the Doom Dragon is a bad thing? When the Doom Dragon arises, he will rupture Odin's rift, cracking the world asunder. Uh-huh. Sort of have you riven a fjord lately? <coughs> uh, Rave? Mr. Magic Guy? <laughs> Hi. Why would you want to do a thing like that? I mean, you gotta live on this planet, too. The same foul powers which entranced the dragon trapped my master Loki and doomed me to a bird's body if I leave this cursed cavern. There are other worlds, and I've little love for this one. And so, an end. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The Unbinding. I'll have to ask you to desist with your spell casting, of course. <laughs> My people use the entrails of birds to define the future chicken man. From Ragnarok to Niflheim, the moments pass, the sun don't shine. Running out of ideas here. And time, mighty one. The spell is almost complete. Raven Dark, why is the dragon not awake? What is delaying the spell? A minor annoyance, Red Loki. I have only a few runes to complete. Finish this, fool! That voice is familiar. Yeah, I thought so too. Free me! Skullmaster! Hey, Ravy, that's not Loki you've been groveling to. You're getting ringed by a master. Skullmaster! The Chosen One. Raven Dark, wake the dragon. Now! It is finished! <laughs> free! Free at last! Somebody like matches? It is getting rather balmy in here. Dragon fire! Run away! <laughs> Wait! Virgil! No, I... Oh, maybe I'll just wait here until the end of the world. Hurry, Mighty One, or we'll be lost! Mighty One! We lost him. start. We have him on the run now. Where are you, Thunderer? We have all business to discuss. Thunderer, 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 would you test your metal on me again? What do they call you now, Lancelot? Little John. They call me... Norman. Figures. Ah! Destroying the world isn't good enough. He wants me dead too. Ha! Ah! Got you again. Ah! I could burn you where you stand, little thunderer, but I want to hear you scream as I swallow you whole. Swallow this. Ah! Ah! I must have your head and your hat. Perhaps I'll give him both in a single package. Ah, uh, yeah. It's good to get that holiday shopping done early. Whittling! Oh, man, this guy's gonna toast me if I don't think fast. Would I 
free, Sundara. I'll whip you like I whip this mountain. <laughs> Boastful worm. Surrender now and spare yourself needless pain. I certainly hope that the mighty one is handling things better than we are. Slow as ever, ungainly beast. Slow and stupid. <laughs> it would be stupid to destroy this miserable world without leaving you alive to witness it. Helpless to stop me. Cowardly worm! Had enough? How do I convince him to get out of that hole and try to kill me again? I believe that I can offer a suggestion. Liar! You blaspheme against my master in the midst of his temple! I'm telling you, your master is Skullmaster! And he's a top ten slimeball who doesn't care a lick about you or your chain god, Loki! More lies! My dread lord is grateful to his obedient servants! Oh, cry me a river! Is that why you're the last one in the world, huh? What's your dread lord done for you lately? He has lifted the curse that transforms me when I leave this place. No, he hasn't, and I know just how to prove it. One meter down and a little to the left. Got it. Strike it now. Odin, guide my hand. <clears throat> You said, I strongly advise that you vacate your current location at once. Curse you, Thunderer! You... You hurt me! Very good, Norman. I believe he wishes to kill you again. Thank you, Odin. This big frisbee does more good for me than it did for you. Woo! Hey! Six flags over Reykjavik! <laughs> this would be fun if I wasn't so scared. Whoa! Mighty one! I sincerely hope that you have a plan of some sort. Plan? Moi? <laughs> Come on, you know I just improvise. Now, boy, your time is come. Oh! Ah! A bird! Still cursed! He doesn't look so bad to me. Rather handsome plumage. And for my next trick... Betrayed! Bingo! You got that right, Beaky. Looks like Loki lets you down. I hear tell, though, that revenge is pretty sweet this time of year. Revenge! Hey, great idea. And I know just how to take your old boss off. Time is short, Mighty One. Tell me about it. Look, we got four, maybe five minutes before Skullmaster or Loki or whoever gets the last laugh and turns his planet into an asteroid belt. So if you want to get the last laugh, listen to me. Okay, you gotta put Godzilla over here back to sleep before he busts up the world. Ah, got to get back inside. Can't work magic if I'm not the man. The prospect of gaining entrance through the dragon's mouth this time is highly unlikely. No, duh, Verge. Hey, there isn't a portal that leads into the dragon, is there? You know it doesn't work that way. However, it is just possible. Now, here's what you must do. And don't. Come, mighty one. You too, sorcerer. Where are we going? Shopping. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Mississippi. Hey, no pets allowed in the store. Oh, chill, dude, will ya? These are my seeing eye birds. I can't make intelligent purchases without them, okay? Timing will be crucial on this, mighty one. We three must step through this entrance portal here, just as Norman lures the Doom Dragon to the exit portal at the base of the cliff. When the dragon's belly occupies the same space as the exit portal, we will have only seconds to step through into the beast. How will we know when to jump? Norman and I have this entire operation synchronized. We have both been counting down. And if my calculations are correct, and they always are, 
Uh, Norman shall have enticed the dragon into the correct position exactly 37 seconds from now. 72 Mississippi, 73 Mississippi, 74. Ho, oh, great stupid worm! Has your long sleep made you so cumbersome? Ha, gotcha! 75 Mississippi, 76 Mississippi, 77. Whoop, burn, insect! Stinking lizard, you made me lose my count. Unless Norman has lost his cut, we should be ready to jump in 17 seconds. Robins! Ah! Hold that thought. 13 seconds. Ah, I always hated math. No more counting, Thunderer. Just as well, since you also have no more time. Time, mighty one. Jump, 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 jump. Ah! That was some kind of curse, all right. Oh. <clears throat> and unlifted by my lying master, I'll put this foul lizard to sleep and chain the rich to darkness forever. <laughs> cool. Loki! Skullmaster, actually, but who cares at this point? The chosen one. Brave and dark. Why is he still alive? Liar! The curse isn't lifted. My doom still remains. Indeed. But thanks to you, my doom is about to disappear. <laughs> Excuse me, but the only thing that's taking a hike around here is you, buddy. Time to tuck in the big lizard, Raven Dark. You wouldn't break the spell, Lucky. I doubt it, considering the price it takes to quench the magical flames. Price? Price? Who said anything about a price? Only blood can quench this fire. Oh, no. Don't look at me. The Bloodmobile came to my school just last week. My blood. My soul. Wait, 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 wait. But, but that means... It is the way of the cosmic balance, mighty one. Leave this place. This is not for your eyes. Wait! There must be another way! Raven Dark! No! What has happened? I have just woken! No! Hey, hey! We made it! And no chicken tandoori! Mighty one! Virgil! Hey, Normie! You miss me, you big lug? Raven Dark paid the ultimate price for trafficking with evil gods. Well, I'll tell you, those evil gods are worse than insurance salesmen. He acquitted himself well in the final moments, though. As did you, Norman. Thor's Malatus served me strongly again. Wow! Nice toss, Normie. You chucked that like a pro. Well, of course. Didn't you know that one of the old Icelandic names he used to go by was, um, the Hurler? The Hurler? The Hurler? <laughs> Oh, boy, they must have really known how to party back then, huh? <laughs> the hurler! Oh, give me a break. This week, we went to Norway, a country that is 1,100 miles long and in some places only four miles wide. Did you know Norway's called the land of the midnight sun? Well, that's because a third of the country is above the Arctic Circle, and from May to July, the sun never sets. Sounds kind of confusing, huh? Uh, see you tonight. Uh, today, <laughs> is this dinner or breakfast? See you next week.
have a large pizza with mushrooms, onions, anchovies, pepperoni, olives, spinach, yeah, spinach, chicken, pineapple, green peppers, broccoli, and extra cheese. What the? Well, not wild about Shakespeare, but duty calls. Whoa! Is this where the gladiators did battle? We don't have time to ponder that now. A more pressing dilemma is at hand. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you need me to save the world again? You know, actually, this is getting to be quite a habit. It isn't the world that's in danger right now. It's your mother. Mother? What's wrong with my mom? She's on an archaeological dig in the Congo. D -d did something happen? She's in a great deal of jeopardy, mighty one. The scrolls foretell trouble there right now. Well, then what are we waiting for? Where's the nearest exit? Let's go! Well, I hope we're on the right track. The native guide said this is the direction Mom was heading when she was last seen. It might not be very safe since the guides were so reluctant to come up here. Excuse me, Virgil. If Mom went this way, I'm going this way. Thing we knew this brush was gonna be here. Right. You think that mom came this way? Well, it would explain her disappearance. Yeah. Well, then let's go. Holy Ford Fairlane! Look what I found, you guys! Why, from the looks of it, I'd say this baby's been here a long time. <laughs> what do you know? Key's still in the ignition. This reeks of foul play. Well, we know they didn't run out of gas. Boy, they really made these things to last. Norman, we've got visitors! Oh man, I told Mom I needed a new pair of sneakers! Cool! These guys must be really into heavy metal! Uh, uh behold! The power of rock and roll! <laughs> Must prefer Sinatra. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do. Not now, Norman! Run for it! Get them! What on earth are gorillas doing driving chariots? Trying to kill us, Verge! <laughs> This way! Of course, this way looks good, too. I believe we've run out of running room. Well, then it looks like we're going for a swim. But I don't know how. Gotta learn sometime. What if your mother had the bad fortune to run into those simians the same way we did, only was not so fortunate? Well, then let's make like an ape and follow them before they get away! This 
is amazing. A whole alternate gorilla civilization. How extraordinary. Yeah, maybe so. But all I want to do is find Mom! <coughs> Take my mount and be quick about it! Where is my food? Oh, 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 oh. How dare you make excuses? Ready it, or I will get another slave to take your place. The gorillas can talk. Left untouched by the modern world, they must have developed skills similar to ours. Yeah, and the humans don't seem to have made it past the grunting and scratching stage. They're all slaves. No wonder they attacked us when we arrived. They must have been under orders from the gorillas. <laughs> Get up! I'll teach you to talk back to your master. Tie him up! Man, these gorillas are brutal! They certainly haven't developed compassion with their social skills. Let's find my mom. Ah, obviously a music lover. Hey, baby, come on. Stop, stop, stop with the bowing. I'm human, just like you. You like it? Yeah, it's the height of fashion. <laughs> hey, I can get you a good deal on them. Yeah, right. I agree completely. What, whatever it was you said. Mighty one. Listen, bud, I'd love to stay in chat all day, but I need to find my mom. Have you seen her? Uh, no, ma, mom, mom! <laughs> Enough! Quit nibbling! Go ahead and eat me already! Mom? Mom? Max? Mom! Max! It's you! It's really you! What are you doing here? How'd you find me? Oh, it's a long story. I I'll tell you after we get you out. <coughs> I don't think so. You'll never take us alive. Norman, no! You never let me have any fun. I could have taken them. There were too many, Norman. I didn't want to end up a gorilla burger, okay? Huh. <laughs> to each his own. This must be the alpha male of the pack, the leader. Oh, yeah? Oh. Hi! How you doing? Nice, uh, lost civilization you got here. <laughs> Beats the heck out of San Diego Zoo six ways till sundown. <laughs> Where did you come from, strange ones? And, and how is it you speak so well? Uh, well, we came from beyond the valley, a place called Suburbia. You'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> you lie. There is no beyond the valley. Oh, yeah? Then how do you explain that jeep I found in the jungle? We're not the first, you know. There are only rumors of visitors from long ago. And where are they now? Your great-great-grand gorillas probably bumped them off. Maybe they're afraid of us. Afraid? Afraid? Gorillas fear nothing, hairless one. These animals bring evil thoughts. Kill them before they do us harm. We should have killed the female as soon as we caught her. Hey! If you touch my mom, you're gonna personally answer to me, you big ape! No, Max! How cute! The feeble human cub wishes to provoke me! So, little one, what would you do? Gnaw my ankle off? <laughs> Mike doesn't always make right, Bonzo! We can do things in our world you guys never even dreamed of! He's right, you know. We have medicines to heal the wounded and sick. In our world, the weak die so the strong can survive to breed a better race. It's helping people that makes you better. Yeah, we have laws that protect the strong and the weak. There is only one law, the law of the jungle. But we have things called telephones that let us communicate over really long distances. We can yell and be heard by everyone in the valley. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool. But we can fly! <laughs> Unclean! 
unclean. They bring evil sorcery. They must be destroyed before their words and deeds harm us. <laughs> this is all very strange. But I need time to think. Lock up the prisoners until I reach a decision. Come on, we're bringing you the wonders of the outside world, not harm. <laughs> hey, if you're so great, you shouldn't be afraid of a little kid. Well, at least you tried to save me, honey. And I'm proud of you for that. What do you suppose they're going to do? Hey, Normie, give me a boost. About time, mighty one. Whenever you're ready, big guy. My pleasure. Scratch one, monkey. something for you, too. <laughs> Gee, I hope this doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. Uh, no, 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 like, like this. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, maybe I started a new fashion trend, huh? The gorillas are gone. Hey, if you're ever in my neck of the woods, uh, don't be afraid to stop by and I'll show you my crib. Go back home. 
just let us go outside the valley and we'll never come back. I promise. There is no outside the valley. We defeated you. It is done. Big deal. It was only 20 to 1. You wouldn't be so tough by yourself. Fair enough. I'll fight you. Me? Oh, no, no. No, I, can't. I don't think that would be... Norman! Norman's the one! You heard him. It is the ritual challenge. You leave my son alone. Okay, okay, okay. I get the message. I'll take the big guy on. But if I win, we get to go. Okay, so how am I supposed to take this big guy on? Well, perhaps, um, fisticuffs? Well, I got a better plan. Do you have the portal map? Of course. Gimme! You know what my plan is? What? Run! This isn't in the rules! There are no rules in the ritual challenge. Think fast, Maxi, or this guy's gonna take you out before you even have a chance! Thirsty 800 pound gorilla wanting to tear him limb from limb, he's faced much worse. Gee, thanks. Hi, gang. Am I late for dinner? Ah! Oh, well done, my oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You have triumphed. I was afraid you might. All you told is, is truth, then. There is an outside world. Here is the throne. Take it. I am done. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I just want to go home and get a pizza. I don't think Mom would understand if I became Max of the Jungle. But uh, isn't there anything you want? Well, you could treat the tribe's people as equals. After all, we're all just human. Your victory forces me to... Grant your wish. You know, it'd be fun to come back here in a thousand years and see what I started. This week, we went to the Congo and came face to face with the world's largest primates, the gorillas. Did you know there are only 50,000 lowland gorillas left in the whole world? And only 320 mountain gorillas remaining in a tiny corner of Zaire? And that's not counting my Aunt Matilda. Always do what you can to help the world's wildlife. See you next week.
Come on, Mom. When do I get a shot behind the wheel? Someday, honey, when you get your driver's license. But we're in Haiti, in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure the Haitians wouldn't mind, Mom. Max, you know you're too young to drive. Okay, I hate to pull rank, but I am the mighty one. I mean, doesn't that count for something? No. Look, here's something you can do. You can label these artifacts for me. Now I gotta work? I'd rather have my spleen ripped out. So what do you think? Cool. Very Ozzy Osbourne. But I'd still rather be back home playing baseball. Mom, look out! Did you see the glazed look on that guy's face? He should be arrested for jaywalking. Now can I drive? It appears whoever was here left in a hurry. Maybe they went to an out-of-business sale. Max, don't eat that. It's not even washed. But, Mom, I'm starving. Right now, I'd be willing to eat something that walks on all fours and barks. This must be the hut of the high priest. Coolness. In a creepy sort of way. Well, maybe he went shopping with the others, huh? Guess we should check it out. Right. No son of mine's going into a strange hut without me knowing what's inside first. Whoa, rad decor. It does make a statement. Mom, look at this. What does this mean? It's a zombie symbol. The hole in the body is where the soul once was. According to legend, a zombie neither lives nor dies, but exists only in limbo. Kind of like being in school. Hey, maybe this trip won't be so bogus after all. Max, it's just superstition. Zombies don't really exist. Oh, yeah? Well, tell that to Mr. Personality. <gasps> I don't know, Mother. I thought I'd ask the big guy out for a game of stickball. Another vacation in Pacoima. Ah! as one of the undead. Hey, no problem, bro. Yeah, a holiday's work when you're a world-class hero. So what are those nasty-looking things anyway? They hold the lifeless soul of the zombie. If one attaches, that person will become a zombie. Sorry I asked. You must locate their spawning ground and stop the low before they can spread. They need to be near people. The more humans around, the faster they multiply. My Aunt Iris is like that. I don't see why we can't call professionals in to do this job. Mom, I am a professional. I'm the Mighty One. The more I see of this Mighty One thing, the less I like it. Something tells me this place isn't open to the public. Somewhere beyond lies the spawning grounds of the zombie lows. Give me those! You know you're not supposed to be carrying around matches. He's really not a bad boy. Zombies coming. How can you tell? Because they're standing right over there.
sandwich again! We have no weapons. What are we going to do? Well, sometimes the best ways are the old-fashioned ways. How can I ever thank you for all you've done? Well, you could hand me a towel to get some of this green splue off me. This figurine is incredible. What does it say? She is the source of their existence. By her own flame, she will perish, and the undead will be free to return to the living. Do you think I could possibly have it? If you like, you may have it. But I must warn you, this place is filled with evil. Mom, Mom, um, I don't think it's such a good idea messing around with evil. Call it a hunch. It's okay, Max. The parasites are all dead anyway. Oh, man. I still don't see why we couldn't have stayed a few more days. You already missed a week of school, and I don't want you falling behind. Wasn't our trip to Haiti educational? Nice try. Now get off to bed. It's school night. Oh, yeah, yeah, about that. I was thinking, can't we put this school thing off for... I don't know, say a month or so? Upstairs, young man. I got home last night. School. What a way to ruin a perfectly good day. No time for breakfast, Mom. I'll just grab a candy bar at school. Watch it, dude! One shower a day's enough! Oh, I must be suffering a post-zombie delusion. I'm gonna see the school nurse. Now, I know this may sound crazy, but zombies have taken over the city. I don't know how it happened, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with my trip to Haiti. Are you listening to me, man? How did the parasites get here? I mean, we didn't take anything home with us. We didn't bring any fruit or anything. Oh, no. The figurine. They must have been inside. Mom? for this, but it's for your own good, Mom! What's going on? Something tells me I don't want to know. I can't help but think this is all my fault. 
I just wanted something special for the museum. I never thought it could lead to the end of civilization as we know it. Hey, come on, it's okay, Mom. It could happen to anyone. Mighty one, mighty one, over here. Virgil! Oh, am I glad to see you. Zombies have taken over! Yes, yes, yes. Mighty Max, the very world is threatened by this plague. You must save mankind at once. Come to Africa immediately. The answer lies there. Let me tell you how to get to the portal. Right. Uh, you might want to write this down. You know how I hate to repeat myself. He's not going anywhere without me, Buster. It's kind of my fault. In the middle of an ancient burial ground. Put that down! You don't know where it's been! <laughs> Mom's been a little overprotective lately. In order to stop the zombies, we must find the mother zomboid. Okay, I'll bite. What exactly is a zomboid? She is the source of their existence, by her own flame. She will perish, and the undead will be free to return to the living. Those are the words on the figurine. I was going to say that. Don't you think we should get going before we're discovered? Zombies. I live for this sort of thing. <sighs> Once you pulverize your first parasite, it's hard to stop. Boy, Barry Bonds has got nothing on you. This job just keeps getting better. Unhand me, you vile creature! Sorry, cut that one a little close. Okay, you guys, don't be afraid. We're here to... Rescue you. Boy, lousy manners. Not even a thank you. Come, if they ran that way, the zomboid must be this way. What's that smell? It's like something crawled in here and died. It's the stench of decay. Methane is my guess. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Me neither. I don't like it. We may have found the mother zomboid and her young. Yeah, I noticed the family resemblance. Nobody move. I don't think it can see us. It appears only to be able to detect motion. So to be safe, all we have to do is stand here for the rest of our lives and not move? By her own flame, she will perish. Perish? Who will perish? If I can just get close enough, I can stop the Zomboid. Or vice versa. Great! I don't have any matches. Remember the matches I took from you? Here, son. Well, thanks, Mom. You're not gonna try and stop me? No. I guess I finally realized it's not my job. Now, do what you have to do. After all, you are the mighty one. Here's your chance. Hey! Hey! Over here!
No, here! Over here, you disgusting thing! All right, you big mother zomboid! You stink! You ever hear of underarm deodorant? The matches! Just as mysteriously as they appeared, the zombies have disappeared from Washington. Once again, things are back to normal. Unfortunately, the government is still moving as slow as ever. Well, everything's A-OK -okay again, Mom. You did well, Max. I'm proud of you. By the way, did you finish cleaning up all the dead parasites? <sighs> of course, Mom. I got every last one of them. I left no stone unturned. You know you can trust me to do what you tell me. Oh, I trust you, Max. I truly do. Now, about your room. The oldest republic in the Western Hemisphere is the United States. The second oldest, Haiti, which declared its independence from France in 1804. The name Haiti comes from the Taino Indian word for mountainous, and parts of the island still look as they did when Columbus landed there in 1492. I bet Columbus didn't have to travel with his mom. See you next week.